welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in to 726. So happy that you tuned in today. And uh, we're here to uh, kind of let people know what's going on in the area, in our little world. Got a little short, short little show today, and we've got a couple guests that we uh, we we uh, coaxed to be on the show today. And coaxed? I'm starting a new segment on this show. Okay. Did, did you did you Person look? of interest? Person of interest. You know, I've, I've wanted to do this for quite a while. And sometimes we have interesting people that come on the show that have no event to promote. Uh, they're not uh, promoting themselves, more or less, but they're just interesting. Their lives are interesting. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we've, we've covered authors that have gone out and written their own books. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we've we've got um, we've got people that uh, you know are like in the music business or something like that. But right. but um, I met a gentleman that uh, got involved with uh, our Star Trek episodes, and I asked and we did a little scene here the other day, and, and I said, hey, why don't you come on the show? I mm -hmm. think just we'll just talk about your interesting life. Okay. And um, so anyway, that that's. That's one of the guests we're going to in introduce that person of interest. And you know, when you say person of interest, it almost sounds People, like a it's like a, a, like a bolo, like a, like a like a criminal or something. Yeah, I warned him. I said he he came early. Wayne came early, and uh and uh, he said I'm a little early. I said well, I said what we the general rule is uh, when we invite guests to come here, we also invite the local law enforcement. Because this is all a scam just to get you here so we, oh, so they can come and arrest oh, you. Oh, I think they're going to get, yeah, <laughs> self-indulgence yeah. moment mm -hmm. of little Little me. ego moment. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so. What's up? Spring is up. How, Finally. How's your spring? What's what's happening in your, your neck of the woods? You know, my husband and I spent the last couple of days. It, wasn't, it didn't take all day. But we have a, oh, I don't know how high the fence was. Like our dog pen. Of course, my little Dexter, he doesn't, he could care less. He's been outside all of his life. But Mary, the German Shepherd, she's been an inside dog, and she is an inside dog, but I want her to be able to go out and know that she's not going to, you know, get off and something or eat something yeah. and yeah. crap all over the floor like she did the other day. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> anyway, so we had to extend the fence. Because I caught her. Is this an electronic fence or just no, a real fence? just a panel fence. But mm -hmm. I caught her the other day. I heard a yelp, and she, here she was coming in the front yard. She'd gotten, she climbed oh. over the fence, like between the gate and the fence. And she's big. I don't know how she yeah. does it. Yeah. But um, so we've extended it about four feet. Oh, so you're a little taller? A little maybe? taller. Oh, and so hopefully they'll keep her in. When we go on vacation, got... we want to be able to keep her out some. Yeah. Maybe she's got a little gazelle in her. She got some. <laughs> anyway, so that's been a it's yeah. kind of a fun little project for us to do together. So, and, cool. You know, we use <coughs> hog, those little hog, the things they the put in the rings, hog's nose. The little rings, hog rings yeah. to put like the wires together. That was my job. Cool, cool. It was brilliant now, at it, I must say. Have you thought about using one of those dog collars? I have one, but I, you have to stand there and watch her. Yeah, well, that's I mean, true. oh, you mean like an electronic? No, electronic. No, well, we what they—you have to bury a wire and all this stuff to not, do that. No, what no. You do, it's a frequency thing, and then you put the collar on, and you can either hit vibrate. Or, oh, I have that on her. Okay, well, that should. But you have to watch her. Oh well, yeah, you got to train train her. And habits. I've done that, and I've done that because she she'll chase the sheep, so I can get her. You know, I I can do the beep. She doesn't let the vibrate. Doesn't do anything. You can do the beep and, and call her, and she'll it'll get her attention enough that mm -hmm. she'll break away from whatever she's doing. But I've used the other one, but it's not consistent, and I think that's because her fur is so thick. I've tried to shave yeah. some of it off, and if she goes and gets in the water, it stretches a little, so it doesn't make uh, contact. And okay. So it's not been 100%, but you can see her when it hits her. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, a, it's actually electric? Yeah. For a little bit? Yeah, and I, I did it low. You know, I started out low. Yeah, well, and, so we're you have to train their behavior, I guess. Yeah, but Sometimes I'm not going to sit out in my yard all day you long. You can't sit them down and say, now listen, you need to be acting a little bit differently. And this is no, you, you can't. can't do that. So, they don't Yeah, listen. yeah, need, need some kind of stimuli. Well, I'm stimulator. Okay, all right. What are you doing? I'm 
in the chicken business again, I guess. I you know, see. we uh, you got, got the bees, chickies. and then we uh, uh, Kelly went out and bought uh, bought some chicks. We lost one the other night. But oh, that's always kind of sad. Yeah, you know. Are what you, do you do? You're hoping they're all hens, no doubt. I can tell already one of them is a rooster. rooster. Just his attitude. Yeah. He's got an attitude. I go, that's that's a rooster. Yeah. So anyway. Well, anyway. Okay. All right, wanna, we're caught up. Ahead. We're up to date. You want to go through the list and tell okay. everyone who's, who's here? Now, but we, we're going to show a lot of pictures today. And um, Are anyway. we going to put him where? Second. Where's that? Harry. We're going to put him second. Okay. How about that? Up first, we have Wayne Hawkins. He is our person of interest, and I believe that the cops just uh, came in. So yeah, they're ready for him. It. And then up next, <laughs> we have Eric Stefanski with the Ozark Arts Council and Lyric Theater, and he's going to tell us, I guess, what all's going on there. And rounding out the show, we have Wanda Massengale. She's here representing the Ozark Humane Society, and she has with her a six-month-old terrier mix named Duchess. Okay. Stay with us. We'll be back after our break. Mm -hmm. 